and I have not watched this match, so this is... Is it two or three games? This is a three-gamer. Yes! Excellent. So I don't... I, I know who won, but I don't know what happened. I'll just say it was a beautiful match. I saw that, and I was like, I'm not going to watch this. I'm going to watch this on stream. I'm just glad that stupid trick stars didn't make it. <laughs> Mound of, mound of the bound. <laughs> mound of the brown brick dot deck. The deck that should have won one. That's what all yes, I wanted. Yes. Barely though. That was that was some close Barely. games. Now this is an interesting matchup because all, his deck is a bunch of walking crows versus a graveyard right deck. So this will be this will be interesting. It should be your match to lose. Yeah. Um. He played me in Swiss and decided he's never going to go into the extra deck, uh, ever. Unless he can, like, kill his own monster. Gotcha. Interesting. Because he knows so, how your deck works? After playing it once, yeah. He didn't know when I played him the first time, though. Did you beat him the first time? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> you lost that good Infernoid advantage. No one knows how my deck works. No, why'd you look back and read? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, Curse you for being no! a competent player. <laughs> You're too long. Don't even worry about it. Just, just keep making plays. Blindly play stuff. Oh god. <laughs> that and I guess the fact that he's got like a main deck three burial from a different dimension is probably and just inherently good mm -hmm. for this matchup. Yeah. Where does that slash draw work? Oh, god. <laughs> Woohoo! Oh, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's that's good playing. I mean yeah, you really have to be careful about, uh... Because I remember playing Shadal's back in, uh... Duelist Alliance format, where you had to really be careful about what you left on board, and even playing with, uh, playing against Necros, you had to be really careful about your hand and the field. Yeah, meta gaming is actually fun. Definitely, I, I don't... We haven't had something like that in a long time, which is interesting that it happened around the same time, because I don't, like, the... I think mean, Mech Knights, I guess, would be comparable with keeping an eye on your on your board and where things are, but I don't making them go good. making them go first and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, it really isn't that kind of mind game that I need to keep a specific monster off the field so that they can't make a play. Yeah, dodging Trishula was always a yeah. goal. I was playing Dave's Necros a little while back, and I managed to clear out my hand, and that was actually a, a thing. All right, so PK takes the uh, takes the first game. Why did he? Why did he put in dimensional barrier? Uh, he doesn't want to run into my fusion monster. Okay. I mean, do you play that very often? Every game. I guess that's the thing. The malevolent you know, <laughs> catastrophe. <laughs> you don't. You don't seem to. You don't seem to need it to win though with that because you have main deck monsters that are big. Yeah, but I, I run out of advantage really fast. That's why when I say this deck is entirely bricks, Ooh, it's because you that run out of stuff. The, uh, the fusion is pretty much like um, future fusion, right? You just send a bunch of... Yeah, which is a card I should have played, considering. Oh, yeah. But uh, I stopped playing it when Tornado Dragon came out. Gotcha. Because it was just so easy to just pop. Like, it never made it through the turns. I mean, the... nowadays you might be okay, because not a lot of decks can make rank fours anymore. But they can all make Nightmare Phoenix. True. So here's where he gets gamed. Right. He can't get his extra deck monster off the board. And you're able to summon the big guy. Yep. Look at all those effects you get, too. Yeah, well, you, you, you sent uh, Ntis and. Ntis. Ntis. Yeah. Ntis. Ntis. <laughs> Look at all that value. Oof. <laughs> all right, game number Oof. three. I open up five. Uh, to imagination. Yeah, that's definitely what I wanted against a player who knows exactly what they're doing. Right. <laughs> Make an extra deck monster. Do it, you won't. <laughs> give me feast, give me vanishment, give me something better than imagination right now. Yeah, he's just sitting on those monsters. That's that's such a meta play too, that's right. really funny. You have to do it from hand. Ew. Yeah, I'm just gonna, you know what, I'm just gonna sit on this, uh, you know, boots and defense mode. Hard summoning Tiara is, like, right. the silliest thing you can do. Is that a minimum? Let's of... do it. Yeah, you need three, right? Yeah. And specific ones, too, so you just happen to draw into those two? 
Just the, yeah, I draw, do the two big ones, and then the other one doesn't matter. Yo, um, yo. I made myself unaffected, but I purposely left myself under fog blade so he couldn't just attack through me. There you go. Mm -hmm. Although uh, I should have really put myself in defense mode. Oh yeah, because I'll just zero out the attack. Pop yeah. the fog blade and. Because I have another imagination, so if he doesn't kill me right. and leaves a monster, I should be able to win. Yuck. Yeah, he just... yeah. His deck, wow. his deck really would would almost rather you play a big beater. Mm -hmm. So you could just zero out and attack for game. Because then you can he can also chain the uh, the trap that protects from battle too. You just pull a loop. Yeah. Away. So yeah, that was the uh, that was the final. Um, Phantom Knights have taken the uh, taken the budget crown, and uh, if you guys want to see how to play, go head over to uh, to Benji's channel. He posted a where you got you were uh, on Skype with him. Uh yeah, no through Discord. Discord uh, or you were on uh, video or voice chat with him uh, talking about how to play Phantom Knights. So. Uh, We'll put a, yeah, we, uh, we'll we've put got a, a non-budget build. <laughs> yeah, the, how you actually actually want to play Phantom Knights and uh, get his insight on on how he uh, how he plays them. Wait just a moment. I can see you were about to click the subscribe button. Was I right? Tell me I was right. I was right, right? My Millennium Eye lets me see everything, including these other videos by Davy Boy. Don't be a stranger. You will always be welcome in my Toon World.